my senior teen years, I wanted to be an attorney at law. There was a time when I was a very young man when I was influenced by my great uncle that I wanted to be a baker. But if I didn't do that, I'd be much fatter than I am now. <laughs> the law for me was, was something that I wanted to do. My father was a trade unionist, so service to people was always something key for us growing up. Uh, my elder brother was a year ahead of me in the law, so he was like um, a John the Baptist figure to pave the way for me, I guess, in um, towards the law. No, my law school period, period of my life was, 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 was important for me, moving me from the academic pursuit of, uh, of the law and, and the, um, you know, uh, towards the practicality. It's a, it's a bridge, it's an important bridge. Since leaving the law school, I have you know, practiced in a, in a variety of areas, mostly um, criminal law, human rights. Law school experience was, was key for that. At the law school, I was very lucky early on to have tutors like Kent Pantry, um, King's Counsel, Henderson Downer of Blessed Memory, who uh, as former prosecutors, they um, regaled us with stories of, you know, in the evidence lectures or in the criminal, criminal procedure lectures and tutorials. They regaled us with stories about courtroom um, antics and courtroom experiences and all of those old courtroom stories did a, a lot for me and encouraged me towards being a prosecutor, first of all, and a, a courtroom lawyer, um, most of all. Um, it, it, has, it has encouraged me to do a profession where I have never felt like I am doing work. I've always said that what I do, I feel like I could do it for free because it has always been great fun for me. The, the law school in my day had a very good advocacy program. I must say it, it's improved now. People like um, Nancy Anderson and more so Norman Davis have done a lot to improve it. But in my day, it was very good too. Um, I remember um, Mrs. Margaret Fort organizing it. I can recall um, listening to lectures from distinguished senior practitioners like um, Arne Henriquez, um, QC as he then was, um, I can recall Lee Croft Robinson on cross-examination. I can recall Richard Small on the Peter Blake principle. And, and, and those um, lectures meant a lot to me. I can recall um, Justice Ian Fort being my tutor when I first tried to do an examination in chief um, in a classroom. And um, I can recall when I had my first day on my feet as a clerk of the courts at Sutton Street when it was a criminal court. The police officer asked me, where had you been previously? Um, which parish did you come from? Where you were working before? I said, no, this is my first day. He said, but what you, what you doing? You were a good man. And, I, and it was due to the law school trial advocacy program because it did a lot for me for me to hit the ground running um, as, a, as a practitioner. For fun memories, favorite memories. I can recall having Miss Dorcas White as a tutor. And at a time I had my young son, who um, I was taking care of in, in my final year of law school, uh, as much as, uh, I, as I could as a young man take care of a young child. And he was, he was ill and I had missed a few sessions at the legal aid clinic. So I went to her and she asked me, where were you? And I explained that my son was ill. And I thought that would be the end of it. But no, Miss White gave me a, I think it must have been at least a half an hour instruction as to how to take care of young children, how to make sure that I change toothbrush and, and pillowcase, I remember quite frequently, and all of these. And she gave me a very good tutorial on, on, on child care. So I do recall that distinctly. I encourage persons studying the law to consider themselves uh, public servants in the public interest of the practice of the law and the rule of law. I encourage them to be independent as the profession of the barrister was intended to be, independent of outside influences, being guided by your wit and, and your learning and the interests of your client and the furtherance of the interests of justice.